Hello and welcome to Celebrity Trends. If it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell for more amazing news on your favorite celebrities. The date Prince Harry will return to the UK has been revealed, but Meghan Markle's attendance remains in doubt. Several sources have confirmed that Meghan was banned and it is unlikely that she will be able to return to the UK. This has sparked mixed reactions, with some expressing strong happiness while others are voicing controversy. In this video, we will clarify the specifics of the situation. Prince Harry is confirmed to speak at the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service, which will be held at St. Paul's Cathedral on the 8th of May. He is listed as a guest on the official running order and is expected to deliver a speech. However, there is no mention of Meghan Markle's name. An insider claims that Meghan's absence from the list suggests that she won't be accompanying Harry. It seems that Harry had hoped for Meghan and their two children, Archie and Lily, to join him, but their attendance remains uncertain. If Meghan were to return, it is anticipated that reactions in the UK would be quite negative. Despite their ongoing efforts to reconcile with the royal family, Harry and Meghan continue to make allegations of racism and other negative claims against them. Additionally, they have refused to introduce Meghan's father to his own grandchildren, leading to further controversy. Some question the necessity for Harry to be physically present at the event, suggesting that a Zoom or video call would suffice and be more cost-effective for the Invictus Games organization. However, it appears that Harry wants to attend in person to claim the attendance fee, have his accommodation and travel costs covered, and potentially make unexpected visits, like he has done in the past. Critics argue that Harry should no longer be considered a royal patron of the Invictus Games as he seems to use the event for personal gain, such as meeting contractual obligations with Netflix. Meghan, as the wife of the patron, expects her requirements for clothing and accommodation to be met by the Invictus Foundation in order to showcase herself for the Netflix cameras. The Invictus Games was initiated by Prince William, Kate Middleton and Harry. While William contributed £1 million, there is no evidence of Harry's financial contribution so far. Meghan, on the other hand, has claimed hundreds of thousands of dollars for clothing, hotels, and private jets. This has led to the perception that the Invictus Games has become a platform for Harry and Meghan's personal brand rather than a focus on supporting injured veterans. If Meghan and the children were to attend the event, it is argued that they are ill-prepared for the public spotlight and the magnitude of such an occasion. In contrast, the Cambridge children have been accustomed to participating in public royal events since a young age. Considering their previous statements, Meghan Markle has claimed she would never return to the UK. It remains to be seen if she will keep her word, given her track record of dishonesty. Thanks for watching. Till next time on Celebrity Trends.